From News 19 and Meteorologist Daniel Bonds, if you're looking for snow across the southeast, there will be some snowfall. Mountains of North Carolina, Tennessee expecting snow over the next couple of days. And there are some winter weather advisories in that same area, even as you go a little bit farther west in parts of Mississippi and Arkansas and western parts of Tennessee. We haven't had any measurable snowfall in Columbia, at least the Columbia Metropolitan Airport in 727 days, January 21st, 2022. This is an annual chance of snowfall across South Carolina. The farther north and west you go, the odds of snow does increase. But if and or when we do have sleet or snow this season, the warning criteria has changed just a touch. For us here across the Midlands, we have to get two or more inches of snow and or sleet to have a winter storm warning. In the upstate, it's now up to three inches. So a little bit of a different criteria for those winter weather warnings. Again, nothing like that for us. We only hit 44 degrees yesterday. It'll be a little bit warmer later today. We'll have a few clouds kind of moving through the Midlands. Chance of rain late tonight and very early Friday morning. Here we are about 2 o'clock Friday morning as those showers kind of moving through parts of the Midlands. The rain moves out pretty quickly by the time most of us wake up. Friday morning, the rain is out of here. The, the clouds will start to decrease and the winds will start to pick up as well. We'll have these winds out of the west anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour. So it will be a bit breezy tomorrow. As far as those rainfall totals are concerned, basically trace amounts of rain. And here's what the European forecast model is looking at or what they're expecting over the next few days. Cold, dry weather Saturday, Sunday will start to warm up a little bit as we go into next week. A few more clouds are going to be possible Tuesday. <clears throat> Small chance of rain on Wednesday, and that's kind of right in line with our forecast. You'll notice the American model shows a little bit better chance of rain on Tuesday, but we're kind of in line more with the European model at this point. Mostly sunny skies, highs in the low to mid 50s later today. A little bit of a breeze out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, a little bit of rain is possible. It's not going to be as cold as this morning with lows in the mid to upper 30s and low 40s. But Saturday morning, dropping back down into the low to mid 20s with teens in the forecast for the upstate. It looks like we'll be possibly in the middle teens Sunday morning. So cold air will be moving in, but no records are expected. These are the record lows over the next few days. Record low for today is 14. We were cold, but not that cold. And then as we head into the weekend, the records are in the single digits. But always a good time to remind people of the five P's of cold weather. You do want to protect people, pets, pipes, plants, and practice fire and heating safety. You're going to need some heating over the weekend with these temperatures kind of struggling into the upper 30s, low 40s both days. We mentioned lows Sunday morning dropping down into the middle teens, and then gradually things do warm back up mid-60s by Wednesday. Small chance for a shower. Coastal forecast, pretty cold over the weekend. Some rain possible Wednesday, and upstate pretty cold as well. Mid 30s on Saturday, low 40s on Sunday. Looking ahead though, our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook warming up for the last several days of January. This would be January 25th through January 31st and we're expecting wetter than normal conditions during that same time frame across the southeast.